Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today's the day. Today we're launching the She's in Her Apron 2022 planners. I'm really excited to bring you this planner because I designed something that would help us be able to utilize our time better, plan out our week, our day, and try not to forget all those important things. Everything we do in our life is important, down to the little thing. And I wanted to have a planner that can help us pop in our day. So when we get our aprons on, we're hitting the ground running and our planners are a companion for us. I wanted it to be motivating and fun and beautiful. I wanted the planner to be a tool for us. And I am so excited about the 2022s because there's so much more added in here to help us. And I know they're gonna help motivate you. I just wanna say thank you to all of you who got the 2021 planner. Thank you to those who made uh, tutorial videos on it. I watched them as much as I could find and really took in what you were saying, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you would like to see change. I took all that in. And so there are some changes made to the planner and a ton added in. When we launched earlier this year, the She's in Her Apron planner, I introduced you to the four month planner love the four month planner. This time you can order it in a bundle for the whole year. You can order one at a time or order it in a bundle. Then we're offering the planner in a yearly form. So you can get all 12 months with all the bells and whistles delivered to you. Along with the regular weekly planner, we are introducing this year the daily planner. So for all of you that love to plan weekly, but also love to plan daily, we have that option for you. And I'm gonna share all the bells and whistles to the planners in just a second. I just wanted to let you know that you have 13 cover choices. 13, better than three, right? I am so excited to share the covers with you. Still same amazing paper. The planner size is seven by 10. The paper is 80 pound premium smooth and it's like butter. All my planners are made here in the United States by a local small business. So please allow two to five weeks for shipping. So let's jump in to all the new bells and whistles that are in the weekly planner and let me introduce you to the daily planner. So here is the yearly planner and here is one of the four month planners. Throughout this tutorial, you're gonna be able to see half of the covers that we're offering. And to see the rest, you're gonna to have to jump online and check them out. The four month planner is broken up three times for you during the year and you can buy all three planners in a bundle together. So you will be able to pick out your three covers. So let's jump into looking into the planner and there are some new things in here that I'm excited to share with you. So this and the four month planner are our weekly planners. Okay, you start right out with a year at a glance and then birthdays and anniversaries for the whole year. In your four month planner, you have birthdays and anniversaries just for that time period for those designated months of the planner that you're in. Then pop into zone cleaning. I loved how excited you guys were about this in the first planner this year that we put out. We did change some of the font type and boldness. It has six zones, one that you can make up if you need it for your home. We have zones for entrance, kitchen, bath and laundry, bedroom, family room and of course make your own. I do have a QR code you can scan that can bring you to a video about zone cleaning. I was inspired by the fly lady with the zone cleaning method so that video explains it there for you. Then we have home and car maintenance. This is new to the planners this year. What to do for the outside, inside of your home and for your car for spring, summer, fall and winter. Each four month planner has this as well. I did bring back the master freezer inventory, one sheet this time instead of two. The dividers for this year's planner are gorgeous. No quotes this time, I just wanted to keep it simple. This is what January looks like. February. March. April. May. June. July, August, September, October, November, 
and December. So let me go back and show you the bulk of the planner. Of course, every planner gets a month at a glance, starting from Sunday to Saturday with a note section. There are spaces here that you can fill in for goals or anything else. The best part about this planner, which you guys have raved about, is having a dual calendar every month. Now this starts each week with Monday and ends on Sunday, and you can track your workouts, kids' schedules with school or sports, homeschool, anything. And this has been such a great addition to the planner. I'm so glad that it's in here. It's helped me out so much, and I loved the response from you guys and seeing how you do it on Instagram. I love getting your feedback and how you're using the planner. So please continue to do that. It gives us all so many ideas. Next, I heard ya and took it into consideration and the new thing that we have to offer in every planner is a budget spread. So you can keep track of your income, savings, fixed expenses, debt payments, other expenses, and then you have a monthly summary. Then over here, you have a whole blank page to use with how you would like to budget. I can't wait to see how you guys use this. Next, we have shop your shelves. Same as before, we lightened up the spaces here with lighter colors. And so shopping your shelves, this section here, is not to keep track of every single thing that you have in your freezer or fridge, pantry, or freezer mails, but just what would you like to use up this month in those sections and then over here you have a menu planning meal idea page where you could jot down all those meal ideas so it helps you to use what you have and make meals from that here we have a shopping list which you could cut out and take with you to the store and then on the back you have a couple of more notes pages Next, we have our monthly master to-do list. And then on this page, we have the four block system here for checking off any projects that you might wanna pull from your master to-do list. You can keep track of your kids, break down work versus home, anything you would like. Then you jump into your weekly spread. So this starts off your week from Monday to Sunday. So as you can see here in January, on this Monday, we're starting on the 27th, and that would be December 27th, going into New Year's, and then starting the first and second on the weekend of January. I loved seeing how all of you have used this top section here. This right here was my first inspiration for the planner. I wanted a section where all the places I had to go during the day, where my children had to go, or appointments, anything that took us out of the house, in this section to, and that way it didn't get lost in the shuffle of things and of course throughout this whole layout you can change up and use these systems for anything i actually saw someone on instagram block out menu and they use this list here tracking other things i thought that was so creative we have our morning and evening routine that you can track for the week we have a section here for zone cleaning. Each week you could do a new zone to help keep track or just your general cleaning you could use it for. Then you have a focus, maybe make a goal for the month or track another thing. Then here we have a short to do for the week. We still kept the expense box. You guys have really seem to enjoy this. It's been helpful. You put the description, how much it was if it was a need or a want. I really wanted to keep track of all our frivolous spending that we could do in a week and see if we can strengthen some areas. Then, of course, the menu plan from Monday to Sunday right down in this section. You have enough pages for that month for your weekly spread. And then you end on a couple of note pages and the four block grid at the end that, again, you could use for goal setting, or anything you would like. We are introducing some holiday pages and they are in April, November, and December. For April, we have our Easter pages. So these are to help you to get ready for the food. And of course, there's extra notebook pages to help you with anything else. All the holiday pages have the pages I'm about to share with you in Easter, but Christmas has a couple of extra that I'll share with you. You have ready set party easter party planning countdown so in each holiday you have a three to four weeks before two weeks before one week week of day before and day of planning you also have a to-do list with check marks and to keep track of all that planning 
You have a menu for each holiday dinner, which helps you track the appetizer, main, vegetable, side, dessert, and drink. And then you have a grocery list for each meal. It is broken down into sections of the store to help you keep track of that list. You have an assignment list if your guests are bringing anything. So there's plenty of room to keep track of appetizers, salads, breads, main dishes, side dishes, desserts, beverages, or any other item. Then you have a cooking schedule. So this, you get to write down the name of the dish. If it's something you're gonna be planning the week of, day before, day of, cooking method. And you can put in which serving dish you wanna put it in, the prep time, bake cooking time, and cooking temperature. Then we have the cooking schedule. So you can keep track what is happening the day before or the day of, and the times go from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Then you have a few blank notebook pages at the end. November's is very similar to Easter, just different colors to set the mood for Thanksgiving. All the same things as well. We added a few fun pages for Christmas. So you do get the ready, set, party, the to-do list, the Christmas dinner, the grocery list, the assignment list, the cooking schedule, and then we have enjoy the seasons. Two lists on this page for things to make and things to buy. And then we have a Christmas baking list here to keep track of all the fun baking that you'll be doing. You can write down the item, the number of batches, where you got the recipe, who you're making it for, if it's made and if it's sent out. And of course the cooking schedule, just like all the other holidays. Then in December, at the end, you get a year at a glance for 2023 and then a plan ahead as well. After that, you have your note section. You guys raved about having plenty of note paper in the back. And we are doing that again for you. Then new to this year, we're offering a double-sided pouch. Look how cute that is. And inside your pouch, every planner is coming with the She's in Her Apron Everyday Stickers, you guys. I am so excited to bring you these. I just wanted to offer you a little something to make your planners pop. So we have stickers for the holidays, doctor's appointments, little cars and cakes, happy birthdays, stickers for the weekend, some shopping carts, of course, a sticker for pop, progress over perfection, focus, get it done, and then the second sheet matches some of the zones and some other stickers like errands, meal planning, aprons on, we have aprons on stickers. This is exciting that you have some stickers to use in your planner. So they fit very perfectly in your pocket. And every planner is receiving a clear pouch. All right, well that is the weekly planner layout, both in the yearly and the four month edition. Now let's check out the daily planner. Here are the daily planners. Now you get to see two more planner cover choices. So this one comes with enough pages for the year and this planner has enough pages to go four months for you. In the daily planner, you have the title page and then you jump right into your daily pages. So you have where you could put today's date and then you have a schedule here that goes from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. with a space to do half hour blocks as well. Then over here you have your top three things you wanna do for the day, a blank box for anything, a section to menu plan, and then three spaces here to use for whatever you would like to do. You could put your morning routine, your evening routine, your afternoon routine, a to-do list, anything and you have enough pages to cover you for the full year. In the back, you jump to the end page. You get a double-sided pocket folder as well with the She's in Her Apron stickers and of course your pouch. And that is also how it looks in the four-month edition as well. All right, friends, those are the 2022 planners. I am thrilled to bring these to you. All the information on where to order is down below in the description box. I loved how these all turned out. I love both the daily planner and my weekly planner. I still use my aprons on pad, 
but I have a feeling that come summertime, I'm gonna be in my daily a lot more. Our life isn't so scheduled out in the summer, so the daily is gonna be perfect. In the comments below, let me know what you're thinking of getting. What did you like about the last planner? What are you excited to see in this planner? Is it the holiday pages? Is it the budget pages? Let me know. This has been a fun journey. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you soon. Happy planning.